guys know what time it is it's time to let these guys out for the first time out on pasture the bison on the new cross timbers bison ranch are going out <laughs> here we go
that was so cool i uh it's been a long time coming for that we've we've been wanting to do that for uh <laughs> since january or february when we first saw this property and how beautiful it was and and how it was set up for bison and uh I had to just stop after I let him out and I was trying to fly the drone to, to get you some good footage and I thought it was some beautiful footage of them and I uh, got a beautiful morning here. Uh, I wish there was, I wish all my people were here to, to celebrate with me. <laughs> They're all working real jobs and I, I get to do stuff like this. So, um, but I, I want to thank Kevin for all the work that he's done and put into this. Uh, even on this property and, and his uh, mom and Kevin's property where I've, I've, I've had the uh, original uh, first bison forever. And I um, want to thank him, uh, uh, Cole and Chandler, uh, my buddies that come up and do a lot of filming for me and help me with some stuff, especially when we work the bison. And uh, those guys are always ready to jump in and, and uh, help. And I just really want to thank uh, Cole uh, especially and um, for his help through all this. He's a buddy from Texas, always helps me. Uh, jump of a hat, he's he's out here helping me. So want to thank him and I uh, want to thank my wife, especially uh, for um, giving us the opportunity to do this, giving me the opportunity to do this, and I wish she was here right now. It's been a long time coming for this, and uh, it's surreal. And... Um, I just want to thank them and uh, I love them and I want them to know that how much I appreciate uh, the effort that you guys put in for a moment like this, a, a 10 minute moment of them bison running through this property. So I just want you guys to know how much I appreciate you and even if I don't say it very often, uh, you deserve it. And uh, I want to thank Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, my brother-in-law too, for his support uh, kind of getting me going and, and talking me into doing this and, and helping us work the bison out as well. Yeah, you know, thank Kim. I'm glad you guys could be a part of this. This is a special moment for us. And I know for you as well, you followers. And uh, they're, they're way up on top of the hill now. They're way over there. <laughs> so, uh, and if you notice what these bison do, and I tell people this all the time is, when you let them out on some property, the first thing that they do, or on some new land, the first thing that they always do is they check your corners. And, and, and that's what they did. They went to the far corner, then they went to the furthest corner, and then they came a little bit closer to uh, check your corners out. That's what bison do. They want to check your fences, check your corners, and make sure everything is good. So uh, that's why you get your fence taken care of before um, you let them out. So... We've had them in this corral system for about two or three weeks now. And so it was time we trusted them to let them go. So they've got a lot of grass here, a lot of native grass here. And uh, this place has had uh, a lot of time to recover um, from previously cattle on it of overgrazing. So excited to see these animals out here. And uh, guys, we'll keep you updated on everything and we'll keep you, uh, we'll keep you posted on, on how everything's going and uh, how they're doing out in their new pasture. This is about a 20 acre or so uh, pasture that they're on. They do have a pond that you just saw. So they've got water and then we're gonna leave the corral open so that they can come up here and get water as well in case they need it. So these guys should be set. We're gonna keep hay out. And then every now and then we're gonna give them some cubes and just let them, let them know, hey, we're still thinking about you. We're still here and uh keep them happy because that's what's important um with bison and, and fencing and stuff is you'd be amazed what bison will stay in uh, fence wise but uh if you take care of them and you show them love and you show them respect and give them some cubes every now and then they'll give it back to you i promise and they'll stay in your fences um if you don't have too many bulls <laughs> exception right there if you don't have too many bulls during rut uh, during breeding season that's an exception don't let me don't let me slide by and not say that they may go through your fence but just keep that in mind i hope you guys enjoyed the first time we're letting the bison out here on the new place we'll keep you updated as uh more updates are coming along 
with the uh, new ranch and all the changes that are taking place. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for being a part of this.